Hey, this is Lily coming at you on day two of the APLA uh, 2023 Triple Crown in Lenore, Idaho. So we started the day with 33 dogs out of an original 43 and uh, ended the day uh, with 23. So we did lose 10 dogs in the second series, which was a Waterland double-double. Uh, Chris Garmoni posted uh, online the actual setup. Uh, and what it was was a walk-up with a mom and pop the first bird was thrown right to left and landed on the shore uh, in a weed whacked area with tall cover all around it. The right hand bird flew from left to right and landed behind a little pine tree uh, with some shorter grass behind it. Uh, so the dogs got the land blind or landmark and then went to get the water mark, hopefully staying in the water, although a few dogs did cheat. Uh, then they had the choice of either doing the land blind or the water blind next, and most people picked the water blind. Uh, it was a, a straight up entry into the water with a slight angle towards the far shore. Uh, at the very end, it was a very skinny angle uh, that you had to keep, and the judges had warned us that we had to keep our dogs visible at all times because they couldn't judge what they couldn't see. Uh, some dogs did beach a little bit early and it ended up in the thick cover around the uh, water blind and got lost for anywhere from a couple of seconds to 10 to 15 seconds. And those dogs uh, were dropped on the land blind. Uh, the challenge was the finish. Uh, to get your dog to the blind wasn't the issue. It was stopping them in time uh, before they ran into the deep cover and bypassed the blind completely. Uh, most of the dogs did fine with that, although you might've heard uh, five or six whistles right at the very end of the blind just to get the dog uh, to it precisely. Uh, this was a very nice setup, uh, challenging, meaty, um, and very straightforward, requiring very tight control of your dog during the blinds. Uh, we did lose a few dogs in the Land Water Series. Uh, then we moved to Upland, uh, where uh, we lost a few more dogs because uh, of just bumps. Uh, the birds were extremely flighty. We got them from Little Canyon Outfitters in Peck, Idaho, and we're getting them fresh every day. So these are brand new birds uh, every day. Um, Larry's been feeding them watermelon, but somebody suggested perhaps uh, injecting some vodka into the watermelon next time to make them a little bit more sedate. They're acting like wild birds, which at the Triple Crown is actually a great thing. Um, not so good when your dog is running uh, crazy in the field and bumps them, or if uh, scented conditions aren't great, there's no wind and the dogs just um, can't find them before they get too close and the, dirt, and the birds uh, flush. Uh, so we lost a lot of dogs from Flight B in the uh, upland because in their field, uh, apparently there was good wind up top, but when they dropped to the bottom of the field, there was very little wind at all. Um, the property owner uh, over at that, uh, that field, uh, who's been gracious enough to let us use her property, actually came and watched uh, the upland action. She's also come and watched uh, the retriever work every day and seems to have fallen in love with uh, what the pointing labs can do. So that's awesome. Um, so that's our update for today. Um, you know, no natural disasters today, so I would call it a very uneventful normal day, and I'm really relieved we had no issues. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys that we had actually overwhelmed the septic system at the Grange, but they came at 6 a.m. with a backhoe and fixed the uh, septic problem, so we had working toilets again, which was a godsend. Um, but, you know, I had driven around at uh, night and found some other porta-potties uh, all around the area. Apparently there's a portable toilet just about every block here in Lenore because I don't know why. They even had two at the cemetery, uh, which barely got any use because as you probably figure, people probably don't go to the cemetery to go poop. So anyway, those are very clean toilets. And so that was gonna be our backup option if the septic at the uh, Grange couldn't get working again. Um, hopefully tomorrow is another uneventful day and we will start the day and end the day with 23 dogs and lots of ribbons and plates to hand out, so we will keep, keep you updated. Bye-bye.